How do movies make us feel free and happy? How do they make us feel alienated? Let's talk about something that you'll see visually on screen a lot in all kinds of movies, including classical Hollywood movies. It's what I call open forms. Let's talk about what this means and how this makes you feel, how it manipulates you, make it persuade you in order to like a movie coming up next. <laughs> I made a video on closed forms, which was where you see characters in tight framing or tight spacing within a movie frame. And closed forms can show us characters feeling claustrophobic, weak, trapped, and that can be both literal and metaphorical as far as psychology of the character goes. The opposite of closed forms is, as you might expect, open forms. A lot of classic Hollywood shots, classic movie shots, are open form kinds of shots. For example, the famous musical Sound of Music, where Julie Andrews runs through the hills of Switzerland singing, the hills are alive. How do you feel when you see this scene? Julie Andrews, her character in this movie, and this is a very famous movie that people love and have loved for 50 plus years, is free, easy, happy, joyful, delighted. And of course, part of that is the scenery, but quite a lot of it is that she is in these wide open, vast, fascinating, beautiful spaces. And the way that the camera is depicting her shows us how to feel about her happy, free, and easy, and gives us her inner psychological, mental, or spiritual state, happy, free, and easy. This is one reason that directors use open forms, and typically it's when a character has a lot of a space, open space around them, maybe around the top and the bottom, but certainly around the sides. When you see characters who have a lot of freedom of movement, for example, they could go to the right or the left, up or down, that character is freer than characters within closed forms or say trapped spaces. And because that character is freer, literally in terms of space around that character, that can mean then the character is feeling free and easy and happy on the inside, as I said, psychologically, spiritually, or both. In other words, again, the space around a character visually can tell us about how a character feels internally and about how we should feel about that character in that particular moment. This is a classic film grammar technique for open forms. Now be warned though, not all open forms have this very meaning. The character's feeling free, easy, and happy on the inside. In fact, it may be just a 60% rule. It only happens when you see these kinds of shots 60% of the time. And part of that is because the farther the camera gets away from a character, the more alienated they might feel to us. In fact, we might get to the point where an open form is a negative, not a positive for a character. There is such a thing called fear of open spaces or agoraphobia. And oftentimes you'll see characters in movies surrounded by vast scenery in either in nature or being in an empty city, say in a post-apocalyptic sort of movie. When the camera is five to 10 feet away from its subject, the main subject, say a character on the screen, typically that means they're at a friendly distance from us, the viewer, and thus we sort of relate to them on a personal level. But the farther back a camera goes, say maybe 100 feet, or it feels like the character is 100 feet from us, and the more a character is a little dot, on the screen with vast surroundings, then we start to get into negative meanings for these open forms. When a character has too much space around them, him or her, when a character has too much, say, freedom of movement, then we start to worry about that character being swallowed up by nature or their natural environment, and we feel fearful for them. They look lonely, they may feel lonely, and all of those feelings that loneliness and being outside with nothing around you or not being sure where you are lost or alienated may also be similar kinds of feelings associated with shots like this. Now as well in scenes where there are two or more characters, space around a particular character may indicate dominance for that character. Put two characters on screen for example and if one has a lot of space around him or her and then is 
pushing one of the characters to the side of the screen, making that character feel tight or trapped, lodged up against the edge of the frame. Then you have a character who, with a lot of space around him or her, feels like the dominant one, thus more authority, thus more power, more control with the character who has a lot of space versus the character who doesn't, and thus that character feels weaker, tighter, more controlled. All of these open form shots, whether they're positive or negative or a mix of both, are contextual. They matter in terms of where they're put in a movie. And sometimes these shots can last for just a couple of seconds. Sometimes these shots can last for a minute or longer. And within a movie, you have to be aware of what's going on with the plot, with the characters, with the storyline, and then decide how to interpret an open form shot because, after all, they can end up being quite complex, both happiness in terms of the freedom a character has, but alienated in terms of the vast amount of space. Maybe there's almost too much space around the character, so there could be a blend of both kinds of feelings. You will even notice when I'm making YouTube videos, not that I'm a great director or anything, but I put a little bit of space around me, and there's some vertical lines in my shots, yes, but there's a lot more space surrounding me, making me perhaps feel a little bit freer, open, or happier. I'm not sure that's how you feel about me, but that's part of the intent at least. Have you seen any movies with some great shots with the, there's a lot of space around characters? What did those shots mean? I think if you start to look for them, you'll see them everywhere, probably in every movie ever made, and they're all contextualized, so be aware that there's a lot of ways to interpret these, but the general film grammar meanings are in this video. Please subscribe to this channel for more great content. Thank you and have a great day.